This is our electronic adapt kit. And we're gonna go through all the steps needed now, now that the system's installed on what you need to set up to start driving and, and utilizing everything that the adapt system has to offer. So step one is we're gonna set the firm setting on each, all four of the shocks individually to our desired firm level. Now, my preference is basically the higher range of the shock. So I, I recommend kind of five and up. So five, six, seven. Personally, I like just putting them all the way up on eight. Since we have in-cab control now, that gives us the biggest, widest range of difference. So go around all four corners, set them to your preference. They don't have to all be the same. But for me personally, I put them all at six, seven, eight on all four corners. In the next step, you're gonna to wanna to download the Falcon app. It's a free app, go to the App Store, get it. Now you're gonna pull up the Falcon app and right away it should connect to the, uh, the module. The module's mounted under my seat. So with the van off, the van's off right now, the screen should read red. Um, it should connect right away. The first connect, the first time you connect, it might take a little longer, but it should connect right away. So with the van off, the shocks are in firm. That's this red. When they're red, that means they're in firm. Okay, the first time you pull up the app and you're ready for your first drive, it's gonna want to get calibrated. So we have to calibrate the module. Just go through the steps. It's gonna pull right up. Uh, installation caliber calibration. Begin with your vehicle in park. Start. Vehicle ignition on. Yep. Bluetooth's gonna connect. We're connected. That's good. Be prepared to drive. So we want to be on flat ground. We want to accelerate gently to 15 miles per hour and then sharply apply the brakes. That is sharp. Like you got to really kind of stand on it so that the module knows how it is oriented in the in the vehicle. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Calibration complete. And we're good to go. And then we can go ahead and go through our toggles and check, make sure everything's working. And we're put in an auto mode and we can see as we, we can kind of watch the numbers and see that it's doing everything we're expecting it to do. So if I click the switch to firm, notice it, the screen goes red. It just transitioned the shocks into firm. They're just gonna stay in the firm setting. Click it down to soft, it's gonna go to soft. So you notice when it's gray, it's soft. That means the shocks are just gonna stay in soft. So you can do it, we'll do it again. Soft, firm, and then back in auto. Auto, they, the shocks stay in soft mode until we cross the G threshold and it's gonna firm up the shocks. So to cycle through the different programs, you go down here on the bottom, you got home, this is your main screen, configurations, here's your different configurations. I have a couple saved here. I have an off-road setting, so you can turn on the off-road, and then I have the highway setting, the highway setting. Um, this, these programs are what is active when the when it's in auto. So this is, when it's in auto mode, you're, this is, the module is doing what it's what you're telling it to do on these presets here. So like for, for off-road, I like this one because it's I set a high force rating and a low time on, which means it takes a pretty big bump to transition to sho the shocks to firm, and then it only stays in firm for a very short amount of time, and then I want them to go back to soft. Now I like this for like washboard, like a good washboardy forest road keeps the shocks very soft unless there's kind of a big hole that I didn't see or an unexpected, you know, bump that throws the van. Then it's going to firm it up, control it, and then 
bring it right back and then we're gonna go back into our Kush Cadillac setting. There's three settings as far as G thresholds. So there's forward acceleration. So, you know, floor the van, get on the freeway hard. You know, at what point do you want the shocks to firm up? Um, side to side acceleration. Uh, you know, that's the van, the head toss, right? That sprinters have to fight all the time. And this system works great in controlling that. Um, you, and then the last one is negative so it's deceleration that you can tell it's got the stop sign so that's when you're like coming up to to a stop sign getting off the freeway heavy braking the shocks will transition to firm once it crosses the g threshold that you uh, set for it so super easy to adjust just hit the section uh, time on is how long the shocks will stay in firm setting and then force is how much what's the g rating that you want them to to once it crosses that threshold, then the shocks will firm up. So again, this is the factory configuration. You can play with it and mess with it how you see fit. And then when you want to save it, just hit the save button, give it a name, uh, you know, do dad or whatever.